Open up the passing lanes short and deep with this money play out of the Gun Bunch playbook. Coming up next. Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So, back in the lab, working out of the Gun Bunch uh, playbook, I'm uh, trying to build off of that Y uh, counter uh, run play that I showed you recently. So, if you're not used to, you're not if you don't know if you don't know what that is, let me know. Check check in the notes. I'll send you the link uh, in the notes. But it's the uh, the Texans Gun Bunch Y counter, very effective running play. Uh, it has a motion uh, where we motion one of the wide receivers. So obviously we want to build a scheme where we can go ahead and, and use that against our opponent's tendencies or, or looking for tendencies and go ahead and tackle them in the, in the pass play with a pass play. So here we're going to be using the Gun Bunch Dig Return. Why I like this particular play is that it's got a bunch of double moves that are very difficult to stop. Stop. It's got a nice little levels concept, uh, and the way this play is set up, it's, it's going to allow you to attack your opponent short or deep. He's going to have to pretty much pick his poison because it's very hard to lock this play up. Now, you can find this in the Jets. You can also find it uh, in uh, the Texans. You can find it in the Eagles, the Raiders, the Giants, the Saints. Uh, the Jaguars, the Colts, the Cowboys, and the Browns. So very, very popular play. There's other variations of this play, but we're just going to be using this out of the Gun Bunch. There might be some other playbooks that have the Gun Bunch because that in focus, even though it's one of the best, it is probably hands down one of the best uh, uh, playbook uh, play, playbooks. Sometimes it just misses plays. It doesn't get plays linked up correctly. So let's go ahead and jump into this and show you how, we, how, I, how I like to run this. So once again, we're going to be building off of this Y counter um, is one of our base plays. In the, uh, and what we do is we motion over the far right-hand wide receiver out of the bunch set uh, to provide an extra blocker. So we want to try to give ourselves another play that help us open up our scheme. So we're going to use the dig return. Uh, and I'm going to look at man blitzes uh, uh, last uh, because this is really not the best play for man blitzing. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and streak up our tight end. This is going to clear out the zones over the middle. We're going to go against cover twos, this uh, cover threes, cover fours, and then I kind of go from there. So we're going to motion this guy over, snap the ball before he gets set. Now what makes this play tick is this little route right here, this little whip route. You're going to be able to go and pretty much hit that majority of the time against uh, pretty much every single coverage in the game is this little this little whip route. Now you're probably going to have a defender that's going to be over there. Maybe this is going to be user territory. Uh, but what what's cool about it is that you're going to be able to go ahead and pop that and pick up some pretty uh, good opportunities. And you can see right there because I had the defenders or actually the blockers down the field. I'm able to go and turn this up for some pretty big yards. And the other route I want you to take a look at too is going to be Evans's route. If the defenders play down, they play towards the whip. What you want to be doing is looking towards this route right here, he's actually going to get really crazy separation um, and actually go ahead and, and, and attack it. So you, know, you can pretty much wait for that to open up. So my first read is going to be right here on the whip. If the defenders play down, uh, my next progression is going to be this crossing route. Um, and then the next progression, see if this guy comes down to the crossing route, right here this route is actually going to go ahead and clear up. So the reason I do the streak route with a tight end is that I just want to clear out defenders. I want to open up this field right here because if the, if the no one follows that tight end, uh, basically this middle of the field is going to be wide open by this little whip route. So a lot of action off, off to the left hand side um, and that you need to be very conscious of it. You also need to, to, to watch your blockers and make sure that you don't get sacked because if you're looking for a next level besides this whip, if you could hit this whip right now, but if you're looking for the next level for the whip, it's going to take a little bit longer for that to get out there. So against random cover threes, once again, you can go check it down to the whip. Defender doesn't fall in that area. You can go ahead and just take that and take the easy yards. So we're gonna go and streak up our tight end. Motion this guy over. You've got the dig that you can drop it down, but you also have got this play right here that, that if you get a matching principle, is really gonna blow up a matching principle. So I'm really, more than anything else, I'm really looking to either the dig or that corner post route. That's where all my action is going to be at. Uh, and I'll take the easy yards if it's right there. 
What about cover four, show two? One of the more popular defenses in the game. I'm gonna just run the stock, but watch. Uh, the little whip route is gonna be followed up, but you're gonna be able to go and hit that deep route on the back end side, so that's what's cool about it. And I'm gonna be taking a look at the levels concept. So that if he's if he's user in that area and try to take away that whip route, you just hit him at the next level. That's what's really cool about it. Now, if you got a man blitzer, uh, he's using a lot of heavy blitzing, I probably would not streak up the tight end uh, if he's got a lot of tendencies to do that because you're not gonna have as much time. Now, granted, you're gonna be able to go ahead and hit these routes and probably have less coverage in the back to go ahead and tackle. Uh, but I would probably go with a max protect situation and allow that deep route by Evans to open up. So let's just go ahead and see how that works out. So you watch Evans. Evans opens up, and now you've got a one-play touchdown opportunity. And I'm going against one of the better secondaries in the game. So uh, you just want to max protect against man coverage because having an extra defense, having an extra blocker is going to help you against anybody that has a lot of man aggressive man blitzes. So once again, thanks for your support. If you do like these tips, go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive, defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.